response. I like that first try. Very good. Thank you. All right. I don't want to make you guys pause on this, but I do want to set a couple of ground rules just to be fair. So we do have a microphone stand set up right here. You can feel free to form a line, form a queue, if you will. Um, please, 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 no requests for selfies or hugs or voices, uh, things like that. So um, please remember they do have booths. So if for some reason your question does not get answered right now, please visit them. That's what they're here for, right? Okay. So, and also one question per person because I know there's gonna be a lot of folks in line, yeah? <laughs> so we wanna be fair, try to keep it as brief as humanly possible, <laughs> and we'll see if we can get through everybody. We're gonna try really hard, okay? All right, so, let's see if my friend's back here already. All right, let's go ahead and bring out, are you ready? Yeah. 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 personally for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I don't want to make you guys wet any longer, so we're going to go ahead and kick it right to the audience, and we'll see how many of y'all we can get through. How's that sound? Rock on. Cool. All right. So please remember, one per person. We'll see how fast we can do this. All right? All right. Please go ahead and feel free to adjust the microphone as you need to, and go ahead and give us your name as you begin. Hi. Tell us your name. Hi, I'm Laura. Hi. Hello. So I do have a question for you, but it's a little preemptive. Do you guys record together when you record your lines for My Hero? Or separately? We record entirely separately. Okay. Uh, in fact, Perfect. many cast members I don't even get to meet until we come to a convention like this. Indeed. You know, three years later, there are still instances of like, Hey, aren't you? We work together, like, ten times. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so were there any, any times where you had to record a fight scene or maybe a, like, a really like impactful scene where you were just really awkward because you were in there alone and you were kind of being watched? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have no other, it depends on like, if you're later in the production schedule and you get scheduled to record and everyone else has already recorded, then you get to play off other, you know, like if I have a scene with Cliff, then we're, I can hear him. But if you're one of the first ones to record, you're just recording with nothing. Like, no one, nothing. You listen to the Japanese once and then you got nothing. So it can be a little bit awkward. Uh, there's just all this silence and then you say your line, you know? Um, but it's always exciting to see what, what gets filled in after that. You don't do anything to like prepare? Do you act out? Uh, I'm, a, I'm pretty physical in the booth, so I do weird stuff. Like if my character's doing something physical, I'll kind of, you can't fully do it, but I'll like sort of pretend that I'm doing that just so that it's in my voice. You, know? you can't shoot ice? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I burned down a couple booths just uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, my left side just got all fiery and it was crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, tell us your name. Hi, my name's Harmony. Hello, Harmony. Uh, so, what have been some of your favorite lines to record? Well, one of my favorite lines is this. Hey, Midoriya, what are your all might secret love, child? <laughs> Answer this question. I'm going to ask a question. How many of you have seen the new movie? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, my favorite lines in the new movie. And if you haven't seen it, go see it. <laughs> so you have to do spoilers? Uh, yeah, no spoilers. No spo uh, that's what I'm saying. No spoilers. Yeah. But those of you who have seen the movie, you know what the line is. And uh, those of you who haven't, don't. So. <laughs> Uh, well, 
oh my gosh, I just talked to a girl on the phone. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, right, tell us your name. Hi, I'm Trinity. Hello, Trinity. Hello. All right, so this question's for all of y'all. So where did you hear of My Hero? Because sometimes you hear that people don't really know what they're auditioning for. So I was wondering if it was the same for each of you or were y'all aiming for a specific character? Well, uh, Funimation had licensed uh, My Hero Academia. And we were hearing whispers about it coming up uh, in the uh, near the tail end of the season before it. Um, that we were hearing about, like, this show, it's gonna be really big, it's gonna be really big, and, you know, and, and we've, we've all worked on pretty popular titles in the past and stuff like that, so it's like, okay, well, cool, 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 hopefully we can work on it, and, um, and so then we, we got the, the calls to go in and do auditions, and, and the auditions had, like, every character ever, uh, and, uh, but pretty much no voice references for anybody outside of the first two episodes, because around in the first two episodes it aired, there was a vocal reference for Tokoyami. I remember that, oh, but right. Um, right. but he was the only one. Like there was nothing for Todoroki. We hadn't heard him yet. Right. Um, you know, Kaminari, uh, Kirishima. None of those guys had vocal references or anything because they hadn't appeared in the show. And uh, so, at least for me, uh, after having watched the first two episodes, I was pretty sure that he was going to be Deku. Like, I was like, that, that is the voice right there. Like, the person who was working at Funimation at the time, I was like, the closest thing to the, this guy in Japanese is Justin Bryant. And so, I'm gonna read for it, but I'm really gonna shoot for that guy. And uh, so I read for Bakugo, trying to sound good against what I thought he would sound like. So, that was my plan. 3D chess. Yeah. yeah. 4D chess. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Eli, and my question for you is, in My Hero Academia, besides the characters you voiced, who are your favorites? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Togo the most. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You know, my favorites really... I'm fickle with my favorites. Uh, they change. Deku is one of my favorites, though. I, he kind of, I know. He, he, yeah. Uh, I also like Stain a lot. I know. So yeah, that's what I'd say for now. Gran Torino too. Yes. Uh, I have a top five. Uh, so my first one, my first favorite is obviously Bakugo. It's gotta be. It's who I spend most time with. Uh, but number two is Katsuki, number three is Kachan, number four is uh, King Explosion Murder, and number five is Lord Explosion Murder. Uh, and really, I think if you guys made your characters past five, what are you doing? Like, you just got to... <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you. Yeah. Hey, tell us your name. If we had to pick a, a, a favorite character to voice that wasn't ours, who would we pick? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, my answer is kind of a non-answer to that. Um, I, I, it's, I, I really would only pick the, the character that I'm voicing. I, because, you know, I've gone back and I've watched the show, and I fell in love with the show. I, I think it's an amazing... I think the work that everybody's doing uh, from an acting perspective is just, like superb um so i can't imagine doing any other role in in the show maybe a nomu yeah i'll play yeah i'll just do a nomu <laughs> just do a nomu yeah I'll just be a nomu yeah i'm in the same spot because so many of the performances in the show are so good that like if i played one of those other characters then i would be missing out on hearing my friend's performance yep. as that other character so i don't know i I feel like I'm in the right spot. Baki goes where I should have been. Yeah, I think, you know, so. Colleen uh, Klinkenbeard, who plays um, Momo, she's also the director, and she do has done the majority of the casting as well. And she's done an amazing job of casting this this series. Like, she also voices some of the Nomu. She, yeah, she's a, she's a lot of Nomu, yeah. But she, you know, and not only just the original cast, but, you know, she's continued to cast the new characters, new villains. Um, and she's just, she's knocking it out of the park. People are just so perfect for what they're doing, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We should all just be gnomos. Gnomos? Yeah. We all be gnomos. Yeah. We're all gnomos, man. Yeah. Someone's cosplaying a gnomo. Did you see I that? Saw, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Is that guy in here? Where are you, gnomo? Is the gnomo cosplay out here? Are you in here? We're gonna get you. Alright. His name's Kyle? Yeah, no, Kyle. Kyle Nomo. Kyle, Kyle Nomo. <laughs> nomo Kyle? Alright. <laughs> Alright, somebody get Kyle. No, Alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hi, tell us your name. My name is Bree. Hey, Bree. Uh, this question is for all of you. What is the most awkward line you you had to say in my hair academia? Midori, what are you all my secret love child? <laughs> No, seriously, I, when I saw that line on the script, you know, Todoroki doesn't really have a sense of humor, at least we haven't seen it yet. You know, he, he's not a, you know, he's not like the witty, quick, you know, funny guy. I saw that line and I was like, is this, is someone playing a trick on me? Is this, am I really gonna say that? And then I had to figure out like, okay, no, no, it's real. And it's a great line, it's awesome, I love it. But I had to figure out, how, how does Todoroki say this? So anyway, that's my favorite line. Let me see your beautiful face, my dear. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, oh, again, another one. Yeah, that, that one was, was weird. tough. Man. That one was weird. Because that's, apparently for Bakugo, that's not in the manga. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, right, like, right. Oh, I, I have to say this though. One of my other awkward and favorite lines is, um, my name is not Five Weenie Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said completely straight, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was from a recent episode that was really funny, uh, but basically the line is, uh, is that cheese? <laughs> Season four, really bringing home. Dude, season four is bringing the the comedy, man. You and I, so many just shut up. I know. Hey, we gotta catch up. Stop saying that. We really gotta catch up. I heard you. Yes. I love that moment. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? My name is Haley. Hello, Haley. Um, what is the hardest line to memorize? Oh, oh, that's the beauty of what we do. Yeah. I haven't had to memorize a line in years. <laughs> yes. yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah, the script is right there in front of us, so we don't have to memorize a thing. Although sometimes, depending on if it's a big fight scene or something and there's lines in between, I'll, and it's an easy enough line, I'll memorize it so I don't have to look back at the script. But yeah, we don't, we don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. We just drive. Everything's very yeah. Cold reads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you explain cold reading for those of them that do not know what that means? Yeah, I mean a cold read or a dry read basically is you've never seen the script and you you look at it during the preview and then you have the next take, you're doing it and you're saying it for the first time, the first time you record it. Acting! Yeah. <laughs> um, it's basically like picking up a, a script or a book and reading it out loud and trying not to fumble on words and trying to have a point of view. Um, it's definitely a skill, and anime <laughs> like hammers at home, because that's all we do. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hi, what's your name? Uh, hi, my name is Sal. I have a question. So it's my dream to be a voice actor, and I actually started working on a few projects like outside on the internet. And I was wondering if you had any like tips, because like I want to be as great as you guys someday, and like you're all amazing people, and I just look up to you all. Thank you. <laughs> You too can be a voice actor. <laughs> uh, study acting, study radio. I always say study radio because that'll teach you mic technique. Um, you know, study everything, watch everything, and like pay attention to the performances and like what's a performance that really touched you. Like really listen to it. Try and mimic it. Like and then listen to yourself and be like, why doesn't it sound as good when I do it? Like what am I not doing? And like. It's a lot of analysis and study and practice and then analysis and and just work, 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 work. Thank you. You guys are all amazing. Yeah, I think we've all sort of, uh, if you talk to different voice actors, we'll all have gotten into this 
industry in a different way for the most part. Um, like what Cliff's saying about learning mic technique uh, and, and just technique in general is huge. Uh, for me, you know, I, I went the route of just really studying acting. And when I first got my first anime role, uh, I, I really kind of had to learn some of that technique stuff on the fly. Mm -hmm. But I felt confident enough in the in, in my acting that I you know so you kind of do exactly I can't I mean Cliff nailed it I can't really add much to it except that studying acting having a good foundation there understanding what the job is so that you you know when when an opportunity presents itself then you're you're ready to take the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Feel free to tilt that mic all the way down to it. There you go. Um, how did you guys um, get invited to voice act or um, go to audition to voice act? Like the beginning of your career. <laughs> you accept the thing. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, for, for at least my experience with Funimation, it was uh, it, I was studying theater. I was in college at the time, and I sent a, a voice demo, which is like a minute, minute thirty of, of voices that you're confident in, and uh, I sent that to Funimation. Some contact info, etc. Waited a year and some change. Um, and then they called me in for what was just called a general audition, which was like, do or can you actually read and act at the same time? Uh, and thankfully, by then, I had figured out how. Well, I was still figuring it out, but I was pretty, pretty confident. Um, yeah, no, I did, so I, I got called in, I, I did my stuff, and uh, then I got called in for another project, and then I started working steadily around with different directors, and so when big auditions such as My Hero came along, I had, I had uh, met with enough folks to, to be on their various lists. Yeah, mine is, you know, I, I was studying theater, I was out of college, and I was acting professionally, mostly doing theater, and I had an agent in Houston at the time, and I got an audition for what they said is, hey, you got an audition for a cartoon. And I was like, really, in Houston? What is, what is it? And they were like, we have no idea, just go. <laughs> and, which is kind of, you know, yeah, how it went. And this was way back in the day, way before you were born, but back when we still had like music stands and paper scripts and, uh, and yeah, that was my, I, I, I auditioned and booked the job and, I got my first opportunity to do it, and I've been doing it ever since. So it, it happens differently for everybody, I think. You know, I uh, I met Chris Sabat, and I had a demo. Good person. Uh, and I was I was struggling. Like I had done an open call audition at Funimation. Uh, ironically, now uh, my audition was directed by Colleen, and. Uh, I love Colleen, but she does not like working with new people. And so, uh, so getting an audition with her was like cool, but she <laughs> never called me in. Um, and so then I met Chris Sabat and I gave him my demo, and it was kind of funny because uh, he kind of like, admittedly he was in the middle of something, so he kind of had to like poo poo me away, like, oh, okay, okay, kid, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll listen to it, we'll, we'll listen to it. And I was like, cool, maybe, uh, maybe in a week I'll hear something back. That'd be amazing. And then three hours later, I had an email that was like, hey, sorry, I treated you like a jerk. Uh, you sound really good. We're going to call you in for something. And so then he called me in for a game. Uh, I booked the game, uh, amazingly. And so then I worked with him. Uh, I felt like an idiot because he was like, hey, you got like, a, you got like a really good voice, man. And I was like, thanks, you do too. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, that's what they tell me. <laughs> cool. Guess you know. Uh, and then he uh, he passed on my information to Joel McDonald, who does not who voices out Yama, but he doesn't uh, direct at Funimation anymore. And he called me in for an audition, and then I booked that audition, and then they just kept calling me. So that was my story. It's Thank different you. for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you. We'll pass that, David. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're welcome. Wait a minute. There's a microphone in front. <laughs> please, please, please. Um, I'm Emerson. Hi. Uh, Hi, Emerson. I'm sorry, I'm kind of freaking out because some of my favorite voice actors are like right in front of my face and it's like, whoa. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Is Chris 
salmon in this movie. Oh, yeah, right? Salmon. Salmon. I am new. So, <laughs> I have a question for Deku first, and then I have a question for all of you. Okay. I'll try to do it as quick as I can. But yeah, yeah. So, I know you guys did voice acting alone, but when you went to watch the anime and you saw Bakugo yelling all these things at you, what did you feel like? <laughs> I said, that's, oh, that's Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what Cliff does to me just when I pass him in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> this feels right. It feels like home. Yeah. It's true. It's true. He's a good time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and also, um, what was it like for all of you when you went to audition? Were you, like, more awkward or more excited? You know, we audition, you know, well, it depends. Like, some, sometimes you're gonna audition, sometimes because we've all, you know, have a, have a body of work now, people will ask us to do roles. Um, I think for me, you know, I've auditioned so much in my life that auditions just become like a thing that you do, and I'm definitely invested in all of them, and then you learn to kind of release them and just yep. move on with your day and do what the next thing is, because if you hold on to it, then it'll be <coughs> crazy. But with my hero, you know, I had done a bit of research on it. I, I watched what I could. I knew that there was a potential buzz around it. And for whatever reason, that like raises the stakes a little bit. Um, it, it becomes not just the normal audition. So I was definitely a little more nervous than I, than I usually am. Uh, you, just wanna, you just wanna bring your A game. You wanna do the best you can. Uh, and ultimately, ultimately, you really want to you want to book the job. So I was I was a little more nervous for my hero than than other things. I think. Anybody else? I just went in and did the audition, and then I went home. Like I I truly like I wanted to be in it, but if you are if you're too focused on it, if you're hyper focused on yeah. it, you will tear yourself apart. And so I always give myself a week. To be like, to be like, come on, come on, come on, get the call, get the call, get the call, and then after a week, I go, okay, well, I didn't hear anything, and now I'm gonna put it out of my mind and just move on to the next thing. Um, so that's usually that's always my method with it, and and I can't remember how long after the audition I heard back, but I remember I was oh, actually yeah. I was actually in Caitlin Glass's booth. Caitlin Glass directs at Funimation, and I was working on something. And I got a message from Colleen, and she's like. I was like, oh, I got a, I got a part in my hero. And Colleen, or uh, Caitlin was like, who'd you get? And I was like, Katsuki. <laughs> and she goes, uh, she's like, Kotsky? And I was like, yeah, that one. Who was that? Right, like, right. Cause, cause like I said, we had like a million auditions right. and we read for everybody. And, uh, and like, she was like, that's like the rival. I was like, oh, cool. Like, yeah. Cause like I had already by that point, like let go of it because you know, that's, if you focus on it too much, you you tear yourself up. So. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's perfect. Right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, friends, we're gonna do our best to get through everybody, so we gotta make it kind of snappy. All right, let's see what we can do. Fast. Right. Yeah. Yes. Fast. Oh God. Oh dear. Oh God. <laughs> oh, it's all. I, I'm not usually <laughs> the tallest person in the room. Uh, hi. Hi. Anna. Hi. It was not on the mic. I apologize. So my uh -oh. my question uh, is, if you, as the actor, not as the character, could make friends with eh, oh. anybody in the show, uh -huh. who would it be and why? As the actor. As the actor. As the actor. Me, myself, Clifford Chapin. Yeah. Midnight. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I just, I was thinking, I can't beat that answer, so <laughs> I think we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Looks like he's still thinking about it. <laughs> I, I, <don't> know. <laughs> I have a lot of answers that come up, but then I can't really explain why. Why is yours Minetto? <laughs> 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 
Minetta, yeah, Minetta, definitely. I just, you know, I just want to, I just want to figure out what Minetta's really about, you know? Like we don't already know. If you could change the quirk of um, the person, the character, who, what would, what would, there, what would you change it to? Oh man, I like my quirks. <laughs> Pretty much the same. You just don't like break <laughs> all your bones when you need something. <laughs> Otherwise, the rest is gravy. Yeah. Well, quirk is awesome. I'm just gonna stick with what you got. Yeah, I just want. To Todoroki to learn how to use them both together uh, in in a different way, which I, I've heard some people talk a bit about uh, who've read ahead. But yeah, that's I'm I'm really invested in my quirk. I just want to know how it's going to grow. You know. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Connor. Um... <laughs> hey. Oh. Yes. Sorry. Awesome. Don't man. Why are you screaming at us? <laughs> I'm a voice major, I apologize. I know, that's good. Anyway, this one is I was trained to be on Natsu. Yes. You have used my I know you guys don't just work on anime so well in, in other anime or in the other stuff you do, but commercials, audiobook, uh, do you perchance do a voice for a character adventure not called for in accidentally? Character that we're not cut out for? Called in for. Oh, called in for. Uh, you mean like in non anime stuff? Like in commercial like stuff? Commercial, video game, whatever. Like, say if you're doing a commercial for a safe farm, you accidentally did your Todoroki book. Not Todoroki. Yeah, it is? I don't remember the character yet. Oh, yeah. do, we ever do, do we ever do voices when we're not supposed to do voices? Is like, like, have we ever done the wrong voice for something? Kind of thing. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Yeah. <laughs> Get it right every time. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, he's, he's yeah. crushing it. My commercial work is so very different than anything I've ever done in anime. Yeah. It, it would be impossible to accidentally slip into like Todoroki or you know Briario or something just yeah. because there's it's so it's so different. Yeah, they're so distinct. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So so no. Yeah, usually, it, and usually that stuff's pretty quick. So. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, tell us your name. Uh, hi, I'm Beglis. And first, I just want to say you're all really great, and I... Well, thank you. My yeah. phone, and I'm very doing. much... Yeah. <laughs> Why? Sing out, Louise. Yep. And, uh, Okay, I very much admire what you've done with all your voice acting and everything. But my main at we can hear you. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. She asked, what are the fan theories that they might be into as well? Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's always a little tricky because, you know, we're working on the show, and so I never really talk about too much uh, as far as fan theories go, because I don't want to step on the toes of the original creators. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have a very... What they're doing with the show is amazing already. Uh, they've created an unbelievable world and a complex, really deep characters, and I, I don't want to, you know, I just, I'm just lucky I get to be a part of it and get to sort of co, co voice this character. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't really, really get into them. I, I love to hear what people think about them, but I try not to like get invested in one thing or the other, basically. I have heard some interesting things about how. Uh, I, I saw something about this person's idea of how the series, the whole thing could end. I won't talk about what it is, but uh, I'm sure if you want to Google that, you can find it. But it was a really, really smart, interesting theory. I think there's some really cool stuff out there. And it's awesome that this show inspires people to go out and be creative that way. So, yeah. 
I will echo that. Yes. I agree. One, one that really tickles me is is I get a lot like, uh, what if Midoriya's quirk was actually just that he cries all the time? He's got super tears. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that is really funny. Also, he was bullied for a decade <laughs> for being quirkless. So I wish someone had told the boy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, and you. I, I, who definitely believes Do Dobby is a Totoroki, so. Yeah. It would be fun. Hi, go ahead. I'll look hey. down towards you and tell us your name. My name is Ozzy, Ozzy. and I'm a really big fan of my hero. Please. I have a lot of merch. <laughs> and my question is for all of you, it is, um, if you could be one character from My Hero for a day, besides the character that you voice act, who would it be and why? They gotta add that on every question. They do, they really yeah. do. Yeah, because they know I'm gonna just say it. <laughs> uh, midnight, for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably after thinking long and hard about it, I'm gonna go with Bubble Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe Aizawa? He seems like he has a really good time sleeping. Like, very yeah. easy to fall asleep. That seems great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do our best to get through as many more as we can. Let's go rapid fire, friends. We can lightning round. Lightning round? Yeah. One word answers. One word answers. Yeah. I'm real bad with that. Yeah, we are good. Hi. Hi. Hey. My name's Solomon. Subs or dubs? That's my question. Dubs. <laughs> dubs. <laughs> dubs. You've never seen an anime dub. You've never seen what? an anime dub? Or uh, subs. Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> okay. Cool. What a weird panel for you to be at. I love you guys. I've never seen anything you've done. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hi, good. Hi. I'm Deku, obviously. Yeah, so, we're um, My question is, oh my what is your... I know. What is your favorite relationship in the series? Platonic, rivalry, romantic, whatever. Favorite relationship of any kind. I love that All Might has become sort of a paternal figure to to Deku, and in a lot of ways, uh, many of the students. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My favorite relationship is um, Todoroki Endeavor. People are actually mad, like you're gonna throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> All Might and Dave. Yeah. <laughs> All Might and Dave. All yes. Might and Dave. They're such good friends. They are. Dave. 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 Let's do it. Go ahead. Go for it. I'm Lotus. Ruck on. And uh, which teacher would you have to tutor you for two months? Midnight, for no reason. <laughs> what are we being tutored in? Science? Yes. Math? Calculus. I just, I want, I want All Might to be my teacher. You know why? Because, you know this, the scene between, uh, the big fight between, um, Deku and Bakugo, you know, and then All Might comes in at the end and, like, has these amazing, like, fatherly things to say? Like, in my mind, Todoroki's, like, hiding behind a wall, <laughs> listening to all of it, like, learn, like, getting some fatherly advice for the first time. I know, I swear to God, when I watched that, I was like, oh, get out, why am I not there? I don't even need to be on screen. Nobody needs to know. Anyway. Cool, thanks. All right, we've got time for a couple more. Let's see what we can do. Lightning round. Uh, I'm Charlie, who's your least favorite character? <laughs> Mineta. <laughs> Some guy in some scene in the background that I didn't like the, the their style. I didn't like the look of them. Yeah. I, said, I don't like you at all. I don't like you one bit. I mean, that is my favorite villain. <laughs> Mine's yeah, just one of those really 
He's in no mood. Those lousy no moves. Yeah. Thank you. Good for nothing no moves. Hi, bye. My name is Addison. Hi, Addison. Hey, Addison. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like in real life? Yes. Yeah. 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 Inclusion. Inclusion. Live your lives. Be honest with yourselves. Yeah. Hi, I'm Corbin. Hi, Corbin. And I would like to know what was your favorite scene to record? It's in the movie. Yeah. 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 It's in the new movie. Go see the new movie. It really is. <laughs> Yeah, that movie's, oh, the movie's You guys the movie's gotta so see good. the movie. It's really, really good. It's I mean, so good. Seriously. I know it's weird for us to be sitting up here saying this, but it's real. It's real. It's good. It's so good. Uh, I think one of mine is the um, the scene with uh, uh, Deku and Todoroki in this in the sports festival uh, arc. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Got time for a couple more. Hurry up. Pull that mic all the way down, friend. There you go. Um, how'd you get the ideas to make the videos? How'd you get the ideas to make the videos? That's the beauty of it. We don't make the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, the author is very brilliant. Yeah, they all have up with a lot of really great ideas and arcs and characters uh, that whenever I see them, I'm like, oh my god, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Who wish, up with this? wish I could have thought of something. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Great. Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks, God. Hello, my name is Sage. Hey, Sage. This question is for David. All right. How does it feel to be the hand crusher? Oh, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the only catchphrase Todoroki has, you know? Um, yeah, he felt really bad. He really felt really bad. Like, Todoroki's got an innocence there. He really thought